Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! Nerdy Crafters Package is here, all the way from the other side of the world. The timeline may seem a little confusing because we wanted to post these videos in a sensible order, but as of filming this unboxing, I had not yet seen Nerdy Crafters video, so it was a complete surprise for me. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Nerdy Crafter and I collaborated in a Pokemon art trade, and it's time to find out what she made. Let's open it! Aha! A coffee machine! Just kidding. Right on top is Nerdy Crafter's newest t-shirt. It's true, I'm a grain. It looks great in blue. Next. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jackie, you are so cute. <laughs> There's a bag of goodies that fell into the depths of the box, but we'll get to that later. On the side of the box, you can see she wrote, make three guesses which Pokemon. So, I can't entirely remember which Pokemon I put on the list of my favorites. I really love Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur line, um, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, Pikachu, Jolteon, Litten. Litten was also on my list, I think, so it'd be funny if we both made Littens. <laughs> Nerdy Crafter is also known to have made a lot of uh, environmental pieces out of polymer clay and resin, you know, little environment sets. And I really like those, so I don't know, maybe she's made me something like that. Dear Postal Gods of Evermore, please protect Jackie's piece from being thrown around, broken into tiny pieces, or cracked. And also, quit throwing her stuff! As I was reading the letter, a whole bunch of adorable stickers fell out. She voices her concerns about whether or not her artwork arrived in one piece, so let's find out. Jackie did drop a couple hints during our collab. She told me it was useful and had fragile parts. I was pretty mystified. The note on top reads, lift from the mouth of the vase. So it's a vase. Funny story, this box got caught up in the mailing system, and at one point Jackie and I were both freaking out that it wouldn't get here, and then it finally arrives a week later to our relief. But then, I waited to unbox it until after I'd finished editing my video for this collaboration. The package was my reward for finishing my carrot at the end of the stick. So poor Jackie was already agonizing over the condition of her piece, and I made her wait a couple more days just to find out. <gasps> look! Look, it's a Venusaur! <laughs> Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Oh my gosh! This is so cool! My first impressions were just, wow, I love it. I should have known that Jackie would go over the top epic and include multiple Pokemon in a scenario together. Everything looks so sharp and glossy, I was convinced that somehow this was a ceramics piece. Even though I know she primarily uses polymer clay, I was just looking at Ivysaur and thinking, how did she do that? And I love that Ivysaur is holding up the structure. The whole thing reminds me of a whimsical Pokemon house up on stilts to lift out of the water or something. It also makes me think of Hal's moving castle, but instead it's Ivysaur's moving castle. It's really charming. Let's finish up the unboxing and then I'll talk more about it. In this mini package, Jackie generously included four of her handmade resin charms. They're also sparkly and cat themed. I obviously loved them. One of them is Nyan Cat. She also sent a cute goodie bag full of yummy looking candies. Now I have to address the damage because I'm sure you're all looking at it. Unfortunately, it didn't survive the trip completely unscathed. It would seem Ivysaur broke off at the top of his bulb and shifted off center, which in turn pulled his vines out of place. Honestly, it could have been much worse. I think the most important elements of the sculpture stayed intact. But of course, it's heartbreaking to see her beautiful hard work in this dismay, so let's fix it up with a quick trip to Delightful's Pokemon Center. Luckily, Nerdy Crafter's video was up at this point, so I could reference her images to try and fix it to look exactly as she intended. I absolutely love this Jackie, and I feel so lucky to own a Nerdy Crafter original. I've experienced this several times now through collaborations with other YouTubers, but I'll say it again. It's one thing to see someone's work through their videos, and an entirely different experience to see it in person. I guess you can just generally appreciate it more in real life, of course. I like the way she used clay, resin, faux plants, and moss, and even real rocks. 
I like artwork that incorporates a large combination of textures, so this checks all the boxes. Now that I have watched Jackie's video about how she made it, I learned that the jumping off point was this thrifted vase, which she incorporated and turned into this entire environment set piece. That's pretty cool! Because it is a vase, I went out the next day and bought some silk plants to put in there. I tried to find some leafy plants that looks like ivysaur's leaves, and I also found this cute whatever this is that I think complements all the colors in Jackie's sculpture. I hope I chose well! I couldn't resist. Just for fun, let's put Doll Motion's Go Goats in there. Aww! Amanita and Iggy also want to join the party. How cute is this? I'm totally going to have a more earth-toned, nature-themed display with Jackie's sculpture as the centerpiece. I've got a couple dolls and toys now that don't match my usual pastel galaxy theme, and they'll look great gathered around this. Oh yeah, one last thing. Jackie did mention in her video that she used a uh, glow-in-the-dark resin on the river, so let's see if it lights up. Ooh, that's cool! I don't know if you can see it in the video. Let me take some stills. Thank you so much, Jackie! I love my new Pokemon environment sculpture! And all the extra goodies that came as a plus, wow, thank you! I hope you enjoyed watching the unboxing. Jackie will be unboxing my gift to her over on her channel soon if she hasn't posted it already. So check that out! I cannot wait to see Jackie's reaction to opening my doll. I'll see you over there! Stay artsy! Annyeong!